Hello students, so let's try to solve one more problem from CSIR NET 2024 from the June examination. So this is again one of the beautiful problem and this is from the phase space part and obviously this is more and more equation of motion. So it's a wonderful problem, let's try to solve it. And here we can, and the uh, basically calculation is very simple but analysis is obviously in depth. So what is this? So it is given the evolution of dynamical variable that is xt and pt is given by x dot is equal to alpha x and p dot is equal to minus p. So where alpha is a constant and it is given that this alpha is negative and fraction that will be minus 1 alpha 0 that one is given. So it is given that which one of the following is best description of phase curve. So uh, Let's try to solve this problem straightforward. Students, when you will solve this problem, then you have to do it mathematically as well as you have to analyze each and every point. So this is the beautiful question. So let's try to go for this one. So when we are going for this one, so we have to just go for this one. And so let's try to go for this one. So what is given? So let's try to start from the scratch. And this question have to start from the scratch. You cannot guess anything. You cannot guess anything. So what do you have to do? So first is x dot is equal to alpha x. And the second is basically, so we can solve this particular thing. So we have dx upon dt is equal to alpha x. So this differential equation is dx upon x is equal to alpha dt. And when you will solve it, you will get ln x is equal to alpha t plus some constant, let's say c1. Let's try to go to another one. So what we have in the another one, what we have p dot is equal to minus p so we have dp upon dt must be equal to minus p, which implies we have dp upon p must be equal to minus dt. And what we have ln p is equal to minus t. So, and you have some constant, let's say this constant is c2. So what we can do, we can put the value of t here and we have relationship between uh, p and x. So phase space is nothing but the relationship between p and x where p is in the into the vertical axis and x is along the horizontal axis. So let us try to go for this one. So when we will go for this, so what I will get, I will get ln x is equal to alpha and this value is equal to ln p with the negative sign. So this will, I have to put the value of negative here and minus c2, so you can take minus minus plus c2 is equal to sum or plus c1. So this value is equal to plus c1. I am just doing it in a scratch. So what I will get, I will get this value is equal to ln x is equal to minus alpha ln p plus some constant, let's say c, alpha c2 and c2 and all this thing will be something like c. We can put this value as c. I can put this value is minus sign here also. So you can take this one is minus sign ln p minus c2. So all constant I will put c here. So let us try to go to next step. So when we will go for the next step, then what I will get? I will get uh, basically ln x plus alpha ln p must be equal to some constant c. And this value can be written as ln x plus ln p to the power alpha is equal to c. And what I will get? I will get ln x into p to the power alpha must be equal to c. And x into p to the power alpha is equal to ln c that can be some constant a. And that value is x p to the power alpha is equal to a. So this is our equation. If you will go into the first side, 
then you will see that this can be a hyperbolic equation. But you have to think this alpha is nothing but between minus 1 to 0. This is very interesting. This is very interesting. Alpha is negative and fraction. So when we will, we have this particular equation, we have x p to the power alpha must be equal to a, where alpha is between minus 1 to 0. So I can put alpha is equal to, let's say, minus half. So when we will put alpha is equal to, you can put any another number also, but I am just taking because they are just saying the best described by this. So I will put alpha is equal to minus half. So what will happen? X p to the power minus half must be equal to a and x is equal to sum a p to the power half. And what will happen? This p square is equal to some constant. Sorry, this p is equal to so we can just square on both sides and what we will get? We will get uh, x square is equal to some p and you can put some constant here, something like this. So what has happened? p is proportional to x to the power 2 if alpha is equal to minus half. So this is just like as a parabola, parabola kind of thing. And uh, this is symmetric about the vertical axis. So this is symmetrical about the vertical axis. So this kind of thing can be also there. So this will can be your parabolic kind of thing. Now the thing is that how you will define arrow. This is very interesting. How you will define the arrow. So you can put alpha is equal to uh, minus the 1 by 3 also. Then it will have some asymmetrical thing. And you can get also this thing. Because if you will take, then you have this type of thing also. Now how you will define this thing. So here if you will go for the equation. If you will go for the equation, then what you have, you have here this equation. And if you will check this equation, here your x is equal to something a e to the power alpha t. And hence this alpha is negative quantity. And that is fraction. Suppose this is negative quantity. So what will happen? As time evolve, x is going to be reduced. As time evolve, x is going to be reduced. And similarly, if you will go for p part also, so then p is equal to also e to the power minus t. So what will happen? Your as time increase, the momentum will also decrease. So only first option, when we will go for the first option, then obviously the both position and momentum is going to be decreased as we are going to evolve with the time. So obviously for the given value of energy, all thing is going to converge towards the origin. So this is your uh, answer and I think option number one is the correct one. So then you have to solve this type of problem. This problem is just a mixture of equation of motion and the phase curve and you have to very smartly see what should be the arrow. But uh, once you will get the equation then only you can define that okay this can be answer. If someone will give you the one another option something like this something like this and arrow will be something like this then it will really very tough to find which well is going to them then you have to go for yes how x is vary with the time how p is vary with the time otherwise the straightforward we can say option number a is the correct one thank you